this project is really great because it's it's all basically marrying everyone together. We're all searching for the same thing, which is acceptance through vulnerability. Um, nobody knows what we're doing out there. We're all just trying our very best. I'm originally from the Dominican Republic. My name is Jocasta, and uh, my family immigrated to New York City when I was just a baby back in the 70s. Um, so I grew up in New York, I grew up in Brooklyn. I've lived, you know, in different parts of New York. I lived in Manhattan, I lived in the Bronx, I lived in Queens, you know, I lived pretty much everywhere. Uh, I came to live in Miami in 2004. Yes, 2004, wow, it's a long time ago. And I've, I've always been a very physical person my whole life. Uh, I was a dancer early on in, in, in school, so I've always been finding myself as I um, move through my body, move through space. So that's something that's always been really important for me. I feel more at home when I'm connected to my body. And for years I've been doing other practices, whether it was running, you know, 30 miles a week or working out with weights. I went through a stint that I did that for a while. And it was always something that I felt I was searching and didn't really realize it at the time. I was searching for something more. Yoga is such a wonderful contemplative practice where it allows you an opportunity to just go quiet and within yourself and understand more about who you are in relation to the world around you. Outlook on life completely changed when I started to really understand more the philosophies of yoga. And, and yoga is such a small word for something that's so vast. The spiritual component of it is really honoring the ancient teachings of it, which is why I took it very seriously and, and I realized, you know, I'm gonna put my time and resources and money into this because I saw myself starting to change. I used to be a really angry person. Um, I had a really rough beginning in my life and I went from having, um, you know, people in my life that had addiction and were on the verge of dying and, and abuse and verbal abuse and emotional abuse as a child. But all that started to sort of fade away when I realized that yoga for me was helping me heal something that I didn't even know I needed to heal. Uh, and that played out in my relationships, especially my interpersonal relationships with my daughter, with my, my parents. <laughs> There's no better way to see how far you've grown than going back and seeing people that triggered you so much when you were growing up. So the reality is no matter where you go, you're always gonna be faced with yourself and your issues and your, your problems are always gonna follow you. I always felt that that was me when I first moved here. I was escaping something. I was, you know, escaping my past, my, my fears, my, my worries, you know, things that were holding me back from being a full person. I think it's very helpful. I think that it helps to give a voice to something that I do see happening in Miami and particularly that, um, you know, it's always been a place where people would go to sort of escape, you know, escape their problems, escape their relationships, you know. Escapism is huge in the city. And so the city was great because you could just sort of like hide in the shadows. But that was never really my calling. I felt that I needed to do the deep, deep, deep hard work of looking at myself and understanding that although I'm, I felt broken, I can still heal and I can help others heal in the same way. I love expression from different, different cultures, you know, dancing, um, different yoga cultures. You know, it's important to always find something that moves you because it's just one step further to understanding who you are as an individual. And yoga has taught me that it is so important to show a level of compassion for everyone's journey. It doesn't really matter. It used to bug me before. I, I used to be very judgmental with people that felt like they were just into themselves, very shallow. And I thought, well, wait a minute, this is where they're at, just because that's where they are, it doesn't mean that they're any less um, capable of being better the next day. So I felt 
my only real choice that I had was working on myself and being the best version of who I can be for myself, show myself that compassion. And once I started to see that and understand that we are all just an expression of the same, the source, the divine, that I was able to then exude that compassion out to others. And it's been such a wonderful journey and I'm just learning every single day, okay, how can I do better in this in doing this how can I turn this into my spiritual practice if I can't get on the mat today because I have all these other responsibilities that I need to take care of well I can turn my daily routine into my spiritual practice it doesn't have to look like the perfect yoga outfit wearing in front of the perfect yoga backdrop no I can turn picking up after my cat in the litter you know I can make the beds in the morning I can offer support from my family and turn that into a, a yoga practice because that's really the essence of yoga. And uh, we went to an amazing retreat in a place called Sayulita in Mexico. It's on the Pacific Coast side and it's very beautiful there where I, I don't know what happened, something had cracked open inside of me. So that connection has never been done before in any of the other practices that I was doing. I wanted to find out more about that. I wanted to learn more about what it was that was moving inside of me and making me feel all these feels that I never had before. Um, so I felt this is something that I wanted to continue to do, but I wanted to go deeper beyond the physical. I wanted to learn the discipline. I wanted to learn the ancient practices of yoga. I wanted to understand why this practice has survived for over 6,000 years and where did it come from. So the philosophy of it was so important for me to understand because if I just wanted a physical practice to feel good in the moment, I could just go for a run. So that's, that's where yoga entered into my life.